Hey, so let us try to understand uh, uh, the difference between the eventually consistent read versus a strongly consistent read. So to understand this clearly, uh, let us uh, see this DynamoDB architecture. It is made of three nodes. Uh, there is a primary node and these are the secondary node, the second node sec S2, right. So, usually when the data is written to the primary node, uh, it has to be replicated to S1, it has to be replicated to S2. For example, uh, if my application write uh, the data X1, X2, X3, which X4 is the new data. So, ideally uh, it has to be replicated and this node finally has this set of data here, right. What because these are the different nodes altogether and data has to be replicated, it might take fractions of microseconds for the replication. So, if one application read after write right from a server to a different uh, the secondary node it is not guaranteed that you will get the correct data because it might take the replication might take fractions of microseconds so you get the stale data it is not guaranteed that you get the correct data so that is called the eventually consistent read it's called the eventually consistent read uh, let me reiterate again. So, if you read after write, it the data correct data is not guaranteed. Do you can get the right data, but it's not guaranteed, and that's the default uh, property uh, for the DB, right? Uh, now, second scenarios is if you want to ensure that you get the correct data, means like whatever X4 you have written here and when you read you get the x4 record as well in your read right in this case your application has to use an api where you need to ensure that your consistent read parameter is true so at the api level you need to ensure that you read or scan data from server to just to ensure that you must get the correct data. In that case, uh, you will get the correct data, but because this API will ensure that you get the correct data, it might take the latency could be more. There is the only difference. It could be because uh, it can issue two write, uh, read commands inside without you knowing. So, uh, there could be uh, the little bit more cost uh, to it, but it completely depends upon you and your application design what exactly you, you want right for some of the application design you always require the strongly consistent read and then some uh, it is ok if you want to the eventually consistent read. So, hope you understand the difference. Thank you.